And now, VermontViews.org contributor Shanta asks you to ponder this. What is our moral or ethical duty and responsibility to the future generation on trauma, collective memory, and epigenetics? The concept of cultural trauma and collective memory is something that has fascinated me, especially in relationship to epigenetics and what we pass on and don't to future generations. One of my favorite quotes about epigenetics and relationship to trauma and collective memory that grabbed me years ago was something like this. And I must warn, I'm paraphrasing. It is not just the experiences or environments of your mother and father, but whatever your grandmother or grandfather encounters also imprints on your genes. One famous example was how the Dutch hunger winter impacted individuals over 40 years after the event occurred. There have also been studies attempting to track the impact of certain events like 9-11 on children who were in utero at the time of the event. And a few years back, neonatologist James Collins started looking at the impact of social and internalized racism on low birth weight in the black community and surprisingly found that even when black Americans had advanced degrees and increased socioeconomic statuses, lifelong encounters with racism impacted low birth weight. Given all that we know or have uncovered about all of this, I've been thinking a lot about the extra layer of moral and ethical considerations of childbearing. I attended a conference years ago that talked about our roles and responsibilities to the future generations. If we know that the train ride is jacked up or that various encounters and disasters could potentially impact what we pass on, good, bad, or indifferent, to our grand or great-grandchildren, do we owe it to them to choose to opt out of procreation, thus opting out of causing them unintended harm? Or perhaps this is an incentive to make things better. Honestly, human life has always been fraught with some disaster or daily encounters that alter how we live. Perhaps the answer is to keep on keeping on, have our children with fingers crossed, and hope enclosed into cradles, and do our best to create ideal environments for ourselves that we wish for our grandchildren and their children. Knowing what we know and perhaps all the other things that we may uncover about our humanity, I say, It is a hell of an incentive.